Hi there, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Jaina, and Jaina wants to know how to remove the background from an image. Well, Jaina, let me show you how to do that. Thanks so much for sending in your picture. It makes it really easy to do demos with your pictures instead of mine. First thing I want to do is switch over to Photoshop Elements Editor. I've got your picture open here, and I'm in expert mode. So before you get started, once your picture is open, make sure across the top here where we have quick, guided, and expert, make sure you're in expert mode. All right, the first thing we need to do is select the part of your picture that we want to keep. Now I'm going to assume that you want this big background and maybe these guys pushing it down the track. And the way we select that is with our quick select tool. So over here on the left in our tools panel, we have a quick selection tool. Go ahead and click on that. If for some reason it's not the quick selection tool, click on whatever tool is in this position and then down in the tool options, make sure this one in the top left corner is selected. That's our quick selection tool. And then all you have to do is come over here and drag across the part of your photo that you want selected. And Photoshop Elements will automatically do some edge detection. You can see it's found the edges of this big sign or banner or whatever this thing is and automatically selected that. I'm going to assume you want the guys too, so I'm just going to keep dragging. I'm going to drag over the guys and we'll select them. Uh, let's get the shadow as well. Let's get this cart kind of thing that uh, that banner is on and even this guy over on the right. So I just drag my quick selection tool around over the parts of the photo that I want selected uh, and elements will automatically do some edge detection to help me make those selections. Looks like I missed this little part of the bar here, so I want to drag over that. Okay, and we just want to get kind of a rough selection made because we're going to fine tune it in just a second. Once I've got that selection made, I come over here to my layers panel. If your layers panel isn't showing on the right, just click on the layers icon down here on the bottom. And at the top of the layers panel, there's this little icon here. This is called add a mask. And so what we're going to do is add a layer mask to this layer. And I do that, but just by clicking on it. And you can see as easy as that, whatever I had selected is preserved on my layer and whatever I didn't have selected is erased. Now what's really cool about these layer masks is it isn't really erased. The way a layer mask works is everywhere I paint with black, I hide that part of the layer and everywhere I paint with white, I show that part of the layer. So just as a quick example, if I grab my brush over here on the left, grab my brush tool, Make sure that I've got black selected as my foreground color. I can get that easily just by clicking this little icon here and it'll make sure I have black and white. And then I can flip them with these arrows right here. So make sure black is selected. And again, wherever I paint with black, I'm gonna hide that part of my image. So with my layer mask selected over here on the right, and I know it's selected with this little blue rectangle around it, I'm just gonna come over here on top of my image and paint with black. And you can see it looks like I'm erasing my image, but I'm not really erasing it. Because if I switch back to white, over here where my color picker is, switch white to my foreground color for my brush. And now if I come over here and paint with white on that layer mask, I unerase. So I haven't really erased any of your image. I've just hidden part of it and shown part of it. So with that white paintbrush or a black paintbrush, you can come in and fine tune exactly what part of your image is showing and what part is hidden. So let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, we'll come over here. So let's say we want to keep the bar, but we want to hide the track in the background. Well, just grab your brush, paint with either black or white. I'm going to paint with black to erase, or actually I'm not even erasing. I'm just hiding some of that track. And when I've got really straight lines like this, I can click like there, hold my shift key down and click here and elements will automatically paint between the two. So wherever I've got straight lines, I can speed things up quite a bit and paint uh, with my white brush to show, paint with my black brush to hide. If I make a mistake like that, it's like, oops, I hid that part. I don't really want to do that. Well, switch back to white and I can paint that back in. And so I don't have to worry about making a mistake and actually erasing the pixels of my photo. I can fine tune things by just painting black, painting white. And so this will take a little bit. Uh, this is a kind of complicated photo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and 
get rid of all the track, but I'm going to speed up my editing in Premiere Elements, which is the video editing program I use to put these tutorials together. I'm going to use a feature called Time Remapping to speed things up. So back in just a second. Okay, there you go. By painting with white around the edges of my picture, I've been able to hide those red parts of the track that we're showing through and really just get the part of the image that I want to extract selected. Let me double click my hand to get things sized to fit. There you go. All right, at this point, you can just take this and paste it into another document if you want, uh, or we can start to have some fun inside Photoshop Elements. If I switch over to my graphics panel, down here in the bottom right of expert mode is graphics, and there's a whole bunch of graphics that we ship with the product. I can do a selection by type, and I'm gonna pick backgrounds, and it's as simple as dragging and dropping a background on to place that image on top of some different backgrounds. And I can move it around. I can grab my move tool right here and move it wherever I want it. I can pick a different background. So maybe I want, oh, I don't know, something like this one. Uh, that'll put it on the background. Use my move tool to put my object exactly where I want it. Uh, I can resize it. I can make it bigger. Uh, I can make it smaller. I can rotate it. I can do kind of anything that I want. Uh, to get that position just exactly where I want it and sized appropriately for whatever result uh, I want to achieve. So there you go. That's how you extract uh, part of an image and um, paste it on top of a different background. Hope that helps. Take care.